Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. And today I have this HVLP paint spray gun from Parkside. The model PFS450B1. HVLP low pressure technology stands for high volume low pressure. Find an even paint application with reduced spray mist. Nominal power 450 watt. Max water flow 950 ml per minute. Container volume 1200 ml with a cable length 3 meters. Accessories included and with a 3 years warranty. So let's open the box and find out more about this product and how we can use it. Included the manual. Stay with me, we're gonna find out all about this product. We have the 3 meters of cable, very convenient. When you are working, you need to, to walk free. And the cable, it is enough. Accessories. Now let's see one by one what accessories we have at the box. The air filter. You can install the air filter here at the back. Just press up and down. Okay, and remove that. There is the air filter. You can replace that with a new one. And then very easy to install. <laughs> that was all. Next, we have the viscosity measuring cup. You can measure the time in seconds until the stream of liquid stop. The resulting value is referred to as DIN per second. I will show you later how you can do that. Maximum it is 7 DIN per second to work with this uh, spray gun. Of course it depends what kind of paint you are using. Included we have uh, 4 different nozzles. The 1.5 mm nozzle for low viscosity the 1.8 mm nozzle for water basic paints, the 2.2 mm nozzle for high viscosity and the 2.6 mm nozzle for oil basic paints already installed. You can just unscrew that. Different colors. Remove the 2.6 mm and I will install the 1.8 mm nozzle for water basic paint. There it is. And then you can install and the nozzle head and with that you can adjust the spray pattern horizontal, round, flat spray and vertical flat spray. Later in the process testing this uh, spray gun we have the cleaning needle. It will help you to clean inside other nozzle. And obviously we have and the cleaning brush. Definitely and that it will help to clean. The 1200 ml container. Unscrew. Remove the container, plastic, silicone rubber around, plastic and that. Install the paint. Here we have uh, the measuring system from uh, 200 ml to 1200 ml. And of course if you want you can remove all that, clean it very well. and reinstall. Nice. And here we have the trigger. We have the level indicator here, but I think is missing something from the box. <laughs> is missing that wheel. We need a wheel here. It is the adjusting wheel. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to return this one. 
<laughs> okay. There was nowhere at the box, definitely, I have checked that. Okay, I will try and use this uh, spray gun without the adjusting wheel. I will see, maybe I will return it first. So let's move on. At all the units we have these soft elements here. Very easy to use with one hand. And of course you can remove this uh, spray unit if you want to clean it uh, better and faster. Just uh, press, it rotates, we can see the lock and unlock here. And then remove. Silicone rubber around. And you can clean it under the water with other cleaning products if uh, you are using old basic paints. Inside we can see the motor. This area it doesn't come in contact with the motor, the paint, and it will not damage the motor. And again it is very easy to install. Press, rotate, and it locks here. Ready to use. So let's remove uh, the container and start the mixing. We need the right viscosity. Dean per second, maximum 70 Dean per second. Okay, here I have the paint. It is a thick paint. <laughs> so I need to add water and then mix. I think I need more water. Okay, mixing and mixing again with water. I have removed some uh, paint from uh, the container to have more space for the water. Uh, for the 750 ml of paint I have added about 120 100 ml. So let's test the viscosity. There's the tool. and start the measurement. I think I am okay. 35 to 40 seconds it is okay. Nice. Now let's add the paint at the container.
I'm very happy with the result. Paint was distributed evenly covering all the area. Last time was painted the wall was 20 years ago, so it need a lot of paint. It is easy to use with one hand and of course you need to be very careful with the paint mixing to have the correct viscosity. Cleaning process went well, in my case under the water because it was a water-based paint. The cost is 25 euros, very good price. For DIY projects, renew your furniture paint, paint the wall and more stuff at your yard. Thank you for watching, until my next video don't forget to subscribe, share this video and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day, bye bye.